Hello everyone, the NAR side of FX in VFX. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this ring at night VFX shot in Adobe After Effects. We will be using Action VFX Rain asset collections such as rain, raindrops on ground, rain on glass, as well as fog from Ground Fog Volume 2 and Atmospheric Smoke and Fog Volume 1. We have a lot to cover in this video, so without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. Before we get started on our VFX, we're going to take a look at references first. So rain is actually very subtle. Mostly rain is communicated through implications, like the water drops on ground or objects, or the foggy atmosphere. And the rain itself only mostly visible when it is backlighting or being hit directly by a light source. But of course, I want the shot to be more heightened than reality. So what we're going to do is to make the rain subtle and implied at first, and then we will take some creative license to add more visible rain to make the shot more epic. Okay, so this is our plate. First, let's track our scene in Mocha. Click on the logo. Now, I want to do a multiple planar tracking of the shot. The background, parts of the car, and then the ground. So let's grab the X-Plane tool and grab an area of the background. And then press track forward. This will be the tracker for the elements on the back, like fog or rain on the background. So let's name this background track. Perfect. Now let's go to the first frame. And I'm going to track the front ground here. Because that's where we will put our rain on ground elements that is illuminated by the headlight. And then I want to add raindrops on the car hood. So we're going to track the hood. And then I want to track the side of the car to get a general centered track of the entire scene. Now, I also want to track the windshield. First, I want to disable all the tracking layers that we have so we're not distracted. So let's grab the windshield area and track. Now, because we want to add a fog at the back, we're going to need to mask the car. We can do that in After Effects, of course, but while we're here in Mocha, let's do our masking here. Now, make sure all the layers are disabled again so we're not distracted. And then grab the X-Plane and mask out the car. And then let's track it forward. Perfect. Now check if the shape still fits across the timeline. If it doesn't, you can do some fixes to the spline shape. Let's rename our mask. And once everything's clear, let's save and close. Now we are back in After Effects. Let's turn the tracking data that we just made into null objects that we can use. So I want to create a null. First is the background track. So let's name this BG null. And then go to our plate. And in the Mocha effects, select the create tracking data. And then we are going to select our background track. And then change the export option to transform and layer to the background null. And apply. And now we have the data for our null object. Let's create more null objects for all the other tracks. And then apply them one by one. Now let's start building our effects. The first thing is we want to create an impression of the rain first. I'm going to bring in this fog element, turn it to screen, and put it on the horizon line of our shot. Let's mask our edges here, and then add curve to darken our fog. And then add tint and set the white color to match the hue of the scene. Then pan it to the background No. Now I want to duplicate our fog move it to the top to fill in the top area of the frame. And then we want to make this fog to be behind our car. So let's duplicate our plate and then name it car mask. And then go to the mocha effects and we're gonna click visible layers. And make sure that only the car mask that we created in mocha is visible. And then create AE mask. And now we have mask out our car. And then put it to the top of our composition, feather it out a bit. And this is what we have. Now let's build the rain that is far on the background. What we're going to do is we're going to build it from patching a bunch of rain elements together. So let's bring this rain white asset, scale it down, and let's put it on the far back. And then we are going to mask out the edges. And then turn it to add. And then let's duplicate it, move it to the side to start building our rain. You can also offset the timing of each layer so they are not repeating or add another different asset to diversify our ring. Now let's duplicate our background null, 
put it to the top and then parent all of our rain to that duplicate null. So now our rain is tracked to the shot. The reason why I duplicated the null instead of using the one I already have is because I want to pre-comp the rain and the parent null together. So let's name the pre-comp background rain and then turn it back to add and let's add a very minor camera lens blur. Now what I want to do first is to create the more subtle rain. And if that's not enough, we will build up to make it more visible. To make the subtle or implied rain, we are going to need an adjustment layer. Put it below our rain pre-comp and then name it background rain implied. And then change the transform mode to luma matte. Now our adjustment layer is being masked based on the luminance of our rain layer. Then get fast blur to the adjustment layer and blur it out high and then add hue and saturation to reduce the saturation. Now, if we play, we have this really subtle rain that you can see happening on the background, especially surrounding the bright area. Next, I want to make the rain more explicit around the street lights, especially, like I said, rain is more visible if it is backlighting or being hit by a direct light. So let's create the solid and name it background light matte. Let's disable it. And then create a circular mask around the lights. To simulate a glow. Now parent our mat to the background null and then let's duplicate our background rain pre-comp and then enable it and then alpha mat it to the mat. Then let's play around with the mask feather of our matte solid and then add a tint to our rain pre-comp. Let's make the color a little bit orange. Okay, everything looks great. However, I still feel like we can push the rain a little bit more. So let's duplicate the background rain pre-comp again and reduce the opacity super low. And also add curve to create contrast and then put all this background rain below the car mask. Perfect. Now we're going to add the rain on car. For this, we're not going to do an implied rain because we want this rain to be very visible. And I want to do this in a separate composition. So let's duplicate our plate, put it on top, and let's pre-compose this and name it Rain on Car. And then let's copy the hood, sidecar, and windshield nulls and go inside the pre-comp and paste it there. And then turn the plate on this pre-comp to guide layer. So now this plate will not be rendered outside of this pre-comp. Now let's bring this Rain on Ground asset to our pre-comp, turn it to Add, and then put it on top of our car hood. Mask out only the part that is directly hit by light and then duplicate again and then offset the timing of the duplicate to make the rain more busy. And then add this rain on ground wide and put it on the edge of our car hood. And then we're going to click on the puppet pin tool again to bend the rain at the edge to fit the curvature of the hood. And then we are going to mask it out and then parent our elements to the hood node. Now, let's do the windshield. Let's bring this condensed glass to a new composition. Rename it Windshield Rain. And then let's add the heavy rain on glass. Turn it to Add. And then let's go back to our rain on car precomp and bring our windshield rain precomp into it. And then we're going to turn it to Add and scale it down. And now I want to chip off the edge a little bit using masking and feather it out. And then let's add some mesh warp, reduce the row and the column to two. And now we can warp our windshield rain here to bend and fit exactly into the car windshield. And then scale it up again just a touch. This way, if the tracking is not super perfect, it is not very noticeable. And then let's add another white rain on ground to the edge of the windshield. And then once again, let's use the puppet pin tool to bend our rain here to fit the edge of the windshield. And then mask it again. And then let's add another rain on ground. And then parent them to the windshield No. Now let's add rain to the edge of the car get the white rain again, and then we're going to put it on top of our car. Once again, we are going to use the puppet pin tool to bend it to 
the silhouette of our car. And then let's mask it again. And then for the side of the car, I don't want to add any rain on it because there's no direct lighting happening there. And in the original shot, we didn't have anything there and it works just fine because it will be covered by the rainfall anyways. However, I still want to add another condensation on glass to the side window. And then parent rain on the edge of the car and the side window to the side car null. Now let's colorize this because the front part is being hit by a direct yellow light. That means this part will be brighter and yellower than the back part. So let's create an adjustment layer, add a tint and set the white color to yellow. And then we want to mask the adjustment layer so our tint only affect the front part. Now don't worry about the plate being affected because it is just a guide layer so the plate will not be rendered out. And then let's get another adjustment layer and this time let's add another tint and we're going to make the white color to be a bit more darker yellow and then add curve to contrast it a bit and then we're only going to mask out the back. Now let's pattern both the adjustment layers to the corresponding nulls and then let's go back to the main comp and turn our pre comp to add and add a little bit of camera lens blur to soften it a bit. Now let's do the ring that is illuminated by our car lights. So let's duplicate the plate, put it on top, and let's create a new pre-composition and name it car lights ring. And then let's copy the sidecar and the hood node to the pre-comp, and then let's change the plate into guide layer. What I want to create is I want to create a streak of light rays illuminating out of the headlights here. So let's bring our rain and scale it up a bit because it is closer to the camera. And then let's create a mask to simulate a light shooting out of the headlights and add some curve to brighten it up a bit. And then duplicate it and offset the time. And here I'm just going to play around with the curve and also the mask feather to create more variation to the rain. And then let's duplicate what we have and put the duplicates to the other headlight. And then let's get another ring and mask it to the surrounding of the lights. We want this one to be a bit more faded. And then parents what we have to the hood null, now the tail light. We are going to do the same thing by adding the rain and mask out the glow. Now let's go back to the main comp and turn our car light pre-comp to add. I want to first create the implied rain. So let's get an adjustment layer and we are going to luma mat it to the car lights rain and add fast blur and then desaturated it and then let's add more. We are going to duplicate our rain pre-comp and then turn the layer on. Add a little bit of contrast on the curve and a bit of camera blur. Now let's colorize these based on the lightings. So let's add tint, make it greenish white like the headlights. Now we want this tint to only affect the headlight rain. So let's create a mask to isolate the light on the front and then let's duplicate the pre comp and then let's move the mask on the duplicate to the back and then change the tint to red. Now for the rain on the ground, let's create another pre comp rain on ground. And this time, let's bring the ground null and the sidecar null along into the pre comp. Like I have mentioned before, rain is most visible when it is directly interacting with light. So I will focus on just adding the rain on the bright highlighted areas like the yellow, orange, and the red at the back there. So let's populate our shot here with rain on ground elements. One thing that you can do to adjust the perspective of the rain to match the ground is to turn the layer into 3D. Okay, so for this side of the car, I will add just one rain on ground, but we're going to make it really transparent because again, it is dark, so there's no direct light source. And for the far side of the shot, I'm not going to add anything because again, it is dark and also it is far away and will be covered by the rainfall. So now I'm going to color correct our elements using curves to add varying degrees of brightness to our rain. Now let's assign the color. 
Here I'm going to add this yellowish green tint to the rain that is covering the yellow highlight and then orange to the rain that is covering the orangish highlight and then red tint to the one on the back. Now pan up the rain accordingly, the front ones to the ground null and the back to the sidecar null. Now let's go back to the main comp and change the pre-comp to additive and put it below the car mask. And then let's add a little bit of lens blur. Perfect. Now what I want to add is an overall rain to the entire shot. So let's duplicate the plate again and create another pre-comp and name it overall rain. And then let's copy the side cardinal into the pre-comp and then change the plate to guide layer again. And then in the pre-comp, we want to populate the shot with rain. And then parent them to the null. And then on the main comp, let's turn the overall rain pre-comp into add. And then let's create an adjustment layer, put it below the rain overall pre-comp, and create another implied rain. So let's luma mat the layer again, and add fast blur and saturation. And then duplicate the pre-comp and create the less subtle rain. So let's add a yellow tint. The rain on the front of the car should be more illuminated than the rest. So I'm going to mask that area. And then darken it with curve just a little bit. And then let's duplicate our rain pre-comp. And move the mask to the back. This one is a bit more subtle because it is on the darker area. So let's reduce the opacity a bit. And then let's duplicate again and put this one on the side of the car. Lastly, let's add this close up ring, scale it up. And then let's add camera blur because it is close to the camera. Add a yellow tint and let's reduce the opacity quite a bit. And then let's also add this foreground fog. And then let's get another yellow tint and then add curve to darken it a bit. And let's add another camera blur. And then we're going to parent the close up rain and the fog to the sidecar no. And that was the tutorial on compositing rain on a night scene in Adobe After Effects. Of course, you can add even more rain if you like. Basically, with action VFX stock footage, you can go wild with your VFX shots. So you don't want to miss out on our action VFX Black Friday sale that is going to start next week. Use this chance to add high quality VFX stock footage on your VFX toolbed. More info about this in the description below. Or you can purchase these assets anytime on our website at actionvfx.com. At Action VFX, we provide high quality VFX assets for your VFX needs. We have fire, explosions, energy, and many, many others. You can also sign up for our Action VFX subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. And see you next time. Bye-bye.